today i'm just uh, sharing my screen uh, hope everyone can see it is yes. it okay great thanks so automation in i uh, automation with ai so we all know like when we talk about ai ai was, AI was already there but chat gpt has like tremendously uh, like uh, extrapolated the use of it and like now everybody is talking about ai um, of course, this session, this particular uh, presentation is for tally only. Uh, for myself, I am using AI in my day-to-day -day task. Like I have to say that it's a, it has increased my pro uh, production level to like four to five times. Uh, be it uh, drafting, be it coding, be it anything. So uh, when we talk about automation, like uh, so, uh, this is one of the slides I just wanted to share. Like in all of my slides is AI. So this is real, uh, real uh, use case, not for literal tally, but uh, the the use case of AI is a photo.com. So this is the photo of my parents, which was just very small photo in a black and white, and with just two click, what AI has done to it. Like it has tremendously increased the def, uh, high, it has made it high definition, and it's it's, it's on on my wall of my parents' bedroom right now. So just 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 wanted to show this to the audience. So uh, going forward, how to use chat GPT or AI for automation? The question arises, okay? We have already discussed, like uh, uh, my previous panelists has already discussed about in details. And I think maybe maybe quite few things would be repetitive also, but my answer would be that just start asking. So we, with the LLM model, I, I, would, I would say chat, <coughs> chat GPT, of course, is a free version. It's free, ask and ask again. This is the way to train the model. This is the way to train ourselves. So if I go to uh, like if I discuss about tally automation of tally or any 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 software any task in our office, I go to Chat GPT and ask just ask how can I do it? How can I do it? What is the best way to do it? So uh, going forward to uh, the tally, uh, so today I, I want to share one of the use case in tally what we uh, did for automation. So just wanted to brief uh, everyone I think uh, here in the participation panel also that uh, into uh, last year tally has a tally four tally prime four has introduced a very good feature which is import. So in the import you can see. This particular feature is, I think, the is the like uh, uh, drastic has drastically changed the usage of tally. Now we can import any transaction, any data directly from Excel, be it bank transaction, be it sales transaction, be it anything. I will not go into the detail how to do it, but because it requires quite a, I think, a very long time, or it will require a very uh, like one hour, one hour uh, class for the same to how to do it. But uh, I think tally has many uh, videos, many online courses for this. I think you can. Can do it you but it's very easy very easy when you just configure it and i think we are doing most of our task for our or SME clients with this only it's free of course you don't have to pay any extra penny to this so it's one of the best thing i think which tally has done uh, in uh, hits four point uh, like tally prime four version uh, so what we have done, so for example, you can see uh, I'm just sharing uh, two uh, two of the templates, like one is the sale voucher, another one is a bank voucher, but how do you, how we do it? I have just taken only very few samples here. Uh, so for example, same wise, I have to cre uh, created dummy accounts and I have created dummy bank vouchers. Uh, how how these are important, I will just show you uh, for, for the audience. So we'll just go here, we import transaction, we go to the Excel, we select the path, we select the file, we select the sheet. For example, I have to import the sales voucher, which I have entered there. And uh, it, it imports with the uh, stock item wise also. So here is a mapping template. Uh, most, some of the templates has to be mapped. I think that mapping is very simple. I will not go into the detail how that mapping has to be done because that will take some time. So it's a counting voucher. You have to pre, uh, preview it, yes. And then uh, backup, okay, it asks for backup also. That's, that's up to you only. So see, now I have imported one sale transaction here and then I'll create import. So it will show you oh, so something had happened. I think I was changing something just. And did you use the template of sales? You use, I think, bank. Uh, import sales voucher. Oh, I use bank, my, my mistake. Thank you very much. So now it's showing me two counts and then I can see the import successful, enter. So I'll do the day, day book and it's showing me the both the vouchers which I've imported from the Excel. And it's I, I'll show you it's showing stock wise entry. All the stock items are also considered in it. 
So I'll not go into the detail how this is done, but one thing I just wanted to share here, how I used AI to improve this basically. So uh, when I was, when we were using it, so one of the problem which we faced here is that these ledgers, which we are mentioning like uh, the party name or anything. So uh, tally, uh, tally requires that those ledger names should be exactly same, which are in tally. So sometimes what happens because they, if there is a spelling mistake or ledger is not created, so we end up doing mis uh, like uh, that, that water voucher is not important and then have that has to be done manually. So again, I asked, we asked ChatGPT how to improve it. So there is a feature in uh, Tally, which I think uh, uh, one of the panelists has already uh, highlighted. You can go to the get data and then you can go to the other sources. And then you go to the, uh, from ODBC server. So what is ODBC server? So Tally has its own ODBC, ODBC server where it behaves like a server and can interact with any of the local software in the, your computer. So you will select Tally ODBC server here. Uh, then you will click OK here. And then you can see uh, within few seconds, you will see it is connected. So dummy is my company name, which is open right now in Tally. You can see dummy, the company name. Uh, you can see the company name here and all the tables from the all the tables from the tally are here you can see everything you can import each and everything all the tally all the data entries all the transaction all the cost centers right now what we did we just uh, filtered ledger here we went to we selected the ledger here and we just pressed ok button so as soon as i pressed ok button uh, i'll try it maybe it'll take some few seconds for the same okay so see it's extra, it has real time extracted all the data. This is the dummy company, so no, there is no much data here. And then I have just uh, hidden all these like the extra rows which are which were not required. Then uh, what we did, we, uh, we know how to use Excel, of course. And again, you can use ChatGPT for that also. I used it. So I used data validation from those sheets, like the ledger sheets. Uh, which is here and then one of the stock item sheet also I just required it so so we use data validation here so for example if I uh, enter any wrong name here it will do red and it will not allow and if I have, uh, I have to enter any data for example so it will give me the list of the data so you have no, uh, new data local one local two local three and then you can just directly enter that and in case there is new data for example there is local seven so it will uh, show as red and then what we do we go filter to filter here and we just select this and when then there is a data creation sheet we just uh, paste here and again uh, sorry we just paste here the data seven and then again we can go to the tally import functionality here as we discussed import functionality there we can go to the master and just import the data as we did earlier with the transaction and then we have those data also and again after importing you can again go and uh, just go to the data tab and you just have to press the refresh button so for example now uh, there is uh, so i haven't changed anything uh, therefore it's not refreshing so you just just have to press refresh button here and see local no, letter four. i think i was i just added it uh, before the presentation so local letter four is added here automatically and then it is auto automatically again added back to the uh, this sheet now i can see lo local letter four also here so there is no uh, no chance of mistake right now so one of the error which we were facing when we were uh, importing the same uh, so the, uh, we have avoided that uh, chance of error also and now our hundred uh, we are importing each and every transaction with 100% accuracy, be it a bank voucher. So we just ask from our client with the details. Narration is already there in the bank statement, which is important in Excel. And we just have to plot. We just filter the narration and plot the ledger name here. It's just copy paste and we just import it. It's just, uh, I think, five to 10 minutes job for uh, simple SME transactions. Maybe for a big transaction, maybe around a half an hour it's taken. But we have drastically reduced the time of uh, importing, uh, uh, like manually entering the transaction or importing with with other features which are already there in the market and again it's free of course no extra no extra uh, penny has to be uh, spent for this it is already built in tally and it's a wonderful feature in tally which can be done and not only bag voucher and anything can be any field can be have altered like in the mapping you can go in the mapping and you can uh, add add on like multiple thousands of fields here uh, whichever you want to import here so I think th that's it. I'm not going into the detail of the mapping because I think that will require some extra time. But um, uh, that's uh, that's something I, I just wanted to discuss today. And um, I guess uh, uh, that's it for the day.